So I had a message from a mum today who's concerned about her teenage son and it's a message that I've got various types of repeatedly and I also see on various forums about home education and her concern was that her teenage son only wants to play Minecraft and make slime and I just wanted to talk about this because I think it's something a lot of parents can relate to. I've been home educating 12 years so I've seen or heard this in various forms and I want to tell you about why I don't think you should be worrying about it. I think that we have a few thought processes that are ingrained into us because of society. One of these thought processes is that children should be doing lots of different things um, and that comes from school. If you think about it, we divide um, life up into what, 10, 15 subjects. That's a very artificial thing we've done because that's not how life works at all. Life is not divided up into subjects. You don't sit around and say, hey, should we talk about maths or should we talk about science? You just have a conversation and that will invariably um, like include lots and lots of different facets of life. And when it comes to GCSEs, obviously, you know, kids might do what, 10 or whatever GCSEs. So we have this idea in our head that our children should be doing, doing lots of different things. And I just wanted to point out that's a very schooly mentality and it's not reflective of real life. If you think about how much goes into slime making, um, art and science, and if they start doing a business, you know, economics and maths and money, there's so much that goes into slime making. Actually, maths, even if you don't, because of the weighing and measuring and stuff. And with Minecraft, my goodness, there is so much science, geology in there, physics, teamwork, delay gratification, maths, reading and literacy. There's so, there's so many different subject skills that go into that. And so when your child is only doing one or two things, they're actually not. That is the channel through which they are doing multiple things. It's just that because of school, we think they should be, you know, dividing it up into lots of different little bits. And actually, I think that the people who are the best at what they do are generally quite passionate about one or maybe two things, not like 10. That doesn't mean to say that having 10 hobbies is a bad thing at all. Um, but if you're looking at it in terms of productivity, which generally parents are, I'm just saying this is actually quite a good thing. Our society in general, because of like consumerism and capitalism and the industrial revolution mentality, really values productivity over everything else. And you see that in schools all the time and in wider society, like in schools, children are forced to produce pieces of work no matter what the outcome is on their mental health or their actual educational experience. The production of that piece of work is the ultimate goal for the system, not necessarily for the teachers or the children. And so I really think this is worth sort of unpicking as a thought, like if your child is doing something that's not producing anything, chill out because they are producing a lot of stuff in their brain which will probably flourish into actually producing something later and even if it doesn't doing something for pleasure is absolutely worthwhile as a long-term thing and as a like a foundation for life so if that is your child if your child and generally it's teenagers as well doing one or two things they're fine it's normal also how many hobbies do you have <laughs>